Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd do a quick video of a palm I bought recently. Probably about five or six weeks ago I bought this. Uh, this is a Majesty Palm, also known as the Ravenia Rivularis. I believe that's how you say the name. And it's actually several of them here in this pot. It's about five or six separate palms all grouped together in a pot that is just way too small. I'm going to have to transplant this pretty soon because it is quite root bound. Now, I didn't really know much about these palms. I did see them around. Uh, I know people were growing them indoors, but I just kind of had it in mind that these were a pretty simple palm to grow and pretty hands off. Um, I found it at the local Home Depot here in Northeast Texas. It was, you know, it was the last one they had, it was like 20 bucks. So I thought, yeah, I'll pick it up and decided to come home and do a little research on it and realized that these aren't really the best choice for indoor applications. Now, these palms like a lot of moisture, light, and heat. And in most indoor situations, temperature isn't really an issue as long as they're getting enough light. But indoor air is pretty dry. So what some people will do is they'll put them in, say, a bathroom or a laundry room, just somewhere where the humidity levels are regularly a little bit higher. And uh, some people also use a rock tray, which is just a tray with a layer of rocks in it pour a little water in there, set the pot on top of the rocks, and then as the water evaporates, it kind of creates a little microclimate of moisture around the palm and keeps it from drying out too much. Now, uh, a couple things about, you know, you don't want to let these dry out too much because a couple things that can happen is that not only will it not look so good, as you can tell, some, there's some dark spotting here on the ends. Uh, so far, all I've been doing is just kind of spraying the fronds with some water with a spray bottle a couple times a day, once or twice a day. But it's, I don't think that's really enough. I think they need a little bit more, um, a little bit more regular moisture on a consistent basis. But uh, what'll happen is they'll kind of droop, the old fronds will brown up. Um, another thing that'll happen is they can attract scales if they draw out too much too. And what those are is they are these little bumpy bugs that'll just kind of attach themselves to the back of the fronds and pretty much sucks the life out of the palm. So I would say if you want to grow these indoors, keep that in mind. Uh, they will need to be regularly fertilized. Uh, regular liquid houseplant fertilizer should work just fine. Uh, what some people will do is just mix some fertilizer in with some water. And then that way, each time they water the palm, it's actually getting fed at the same time. So, you know, it kind of kills two birds with one stone. You really don't have to think about it. And I have found that watering these about once a week tends to be about ideal. Uh, you don't want to let the soil completely dry out, but you also don't want to keep it too soggy. So um, I've been finding about once a week is a good balance with that. So those are a few things to keep in mind if you do want to grow them indoors. Uh, your best bet is to grow them outdoors. If you live in an area where they can, that accommodates these, I would say go that route. Uh, they will take most zones 9B and above, as long as it's not in too dry of an area, like you know desert, arid climates, because they do like the moisture. So uh, yeah, I would say do that. Don't keep it in a really harsh full sun. They don't really like a lot of direct sun. I would say more part shade, part sun is best for them. Some people like to grow them up near entryways or patios just to kind of keep them a little more sheltered. But they do like a lot of indirect light, so I would keep that in mind. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I'll, I'll keep you guys up there on how it does over the next several weeks, but uh, it'll be a challenge. And uh, do I regret getting it? Eh, not really. I'm up for the challenge, I'll see how it goes. And it'll be a nice little, uh, Nice little saga here I can keep you guys updated on. And that way, if I do have some success with it, maybe it'll help out somebody that's watching this video. And if you are someone watching this video and you have had success with these, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you because uh, it not only will help me out, but it also could help someone else out that's watching this video that may want to grow these indoors. So anyway, that's about it for this video. Like I said, questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one.